Good afternoon. We are at 667 Pine Brook Circle in Cantonment, Florida. Zip code here is 32533. You can see we have a three-car garage. We do have a single detached garage as well in the back. You can see this beautifully landscaped yard with a circular drive that comes all the way around. So this home was built in 2006, listed at $363,000 four bedroom, three and a half bath on one acre. And let's go inside and take a look. Home has gutters all the way around, dimensional shingles. We do have a well here for the yard for the sprinkler system. So as you come in, you notice these beautiful floors. As you come in, you see this really nice tile inlay. We have uh, double crown molding throughout this entire home. We have nine foot ceilings. We have tray ceilings. This is a formal dining room. You can see all the bull nose corners. Immediately when we come in to our left is a bedroom with a full bathroom. It's currently being used as an office right now. We'll go in that room in a little bit. So let me just take you into the main part of the living room. So for standing here in the foyer, that's the master bedroom. Right through there. See these beautiful bump up ceilings. Ceiling fan. Some recessed lighting. We have two French doors that go out to the covered lanai. This looks right down that goes to two bedrooms and a half bath and a full bath. I you to take a look at this fireplace. This is really nice cultured stone gas fireplace. Looks right into the dining room. And from this great room, you can look right into the kitchen. You notice all these nice, beautiful arches. It takes you right back to the front door. So you have this really nice foyer. This is a formal dining room, very large and open. And if you'll notice the plant ledges at the top with all the lighting. Let's go right through here. I'm gonna take you into the kitchen. So as we go into the kitchen, you see this really nice breakfast nook. That sliding doors that go out to a sunroom that does have a full kitchen in it. You can see this really nice long island with all the cabinets. That's a Gen Air cooktop. We have stainless steel appliances. And again, you can see the lighting. We have above the cabinet lighting, under the cabinet lighting. We have a walk-in pantry, granite countertops, stainless steel appliances. We have a skylight. That's one of the tube lightings. You can see right here at the end of the cabinets, you have room for storage, for cookbooks, whatever you would like to put. Plenty of counter space. So now as we come in this part of the home, this is a split floor plan. And again, if we look right back here, that looks right back into that great room, the dining room and the foyer. So as we're in this large area here, we have two bedrooms and a Jack and Jill bathroom. So if we go in this additional bedroom, number one, again, you can see this double crown molding throughout, ceiling fans. This goes right into a Jack and Jill bathroom. So we have a tub shower combination. We have this nice large single vanity. This is the, the three foot high. And if we come through and this has tile flooring, as we come into the bedroom, the bedrooms all have carpet. This is the additional bedroom, which looks right back out into that hallway and right back into the bathroom. Here we have a half bath. This half bath is right off of this hallway. We have some cabinets for storage and we have a pedestal sink. So a really nice half bath. Here we have our laundry room that goes out to the three-car garage. We have a nice laundry sink. 
It's really nice cabinetry above. So really nice large laundry area. And here we have some linen. So we have a storage closet right here in this hallway as well. I'm gonna take you across the hall and then we're gonna rock, walk right back where we come in the front door. We're gonna walk straight across to the master. Just gonna show you some of that really nice crown molding. We're gonna walk right into the master. So now we're in the master suite. We have his and her closets with pocket doors. So his and her, we have this little hallway that goes back. This is king size furniture and it's oversized furniture. You can tell this is a really large room. We have two nice windows for lighting. We do have a tray ceiling with ceiling fan. And we have these plant ledges with lighting as well. So if we walk right back here, this bathroom does have a pocket door. So this door will actually close here for this master suite to be very private. We do have a pocket door that goes into the master bath. You can see tile flooring. You can see these really nice cabinets for storage for towels. Really nice long vanity. Just gives you an idea of this bathroom with these nooks. We have another skylight. In this pocket door is the private commode area, the glass block window, and again, another vanity. You can notice the detail of these columns. We have a really nice, deep jacuzzi tub. Some more block lighting for windows. Now this is a shower, this is a large walk-in shower. So this large walk-in shower has dual heads. You can see the tool heads in there. We do have a bench for seating inside the shower. So we have a nice walk-in shower. And again, you can see your two vanities. Okay. Go right back through. We're gonna go out because you can make this very private with the door closed. So now we're gonna go right back out into this great room again. I'm gonna take you across back again. We're gonna go back again through the kitchen and I'm gonna take you to the Florida room. So we have a really nice Florida room that's uh, heated and cooled. So as we go through this slider, now we're in this heated and cooled Florida room. A lot of lighting, canned lighting, ceiling fans. You can see it's heated and cooled. And then we have this really nice, we have this nice tile. Then we have a sink, little cabinet, stove, and a refrigerator. So you can do your cooking out here if you're entertaining. With family and friends. You can see that uh, cute little building out there. That is a single car garage. It does have two skylights. When the sheetrockers sheetrocked that ceiling, they covered up those skylights. So if anybody wanted those skylights to be open, they could take that sheetrock down and redo that. That could be a cute little mother-in-law suite. It's got floodlights on it. It's, there's water out there. There's power out there. So just a nice area. Can I take you right down through this area here to go out to the back? It's getting ready to storm here, so you're probably hearing some thunder. So again, this sits on an acre of land. We do have a well with a sprinkler system. Nice flower beds. We have woods on this side, which is a vacant land that somebody could purchase. We have a fence on three sides, two sides. And here's that cute little detached garage. Again, the yard looks lush. We do have a sprinkler system. So as we go back up the steps, we're here at this lanai that goes back into the Florida room. We have two French doors. So a really nice lanai area. So if we go back inside, we come through this little breezeway here back into this outdoor kitchen. So just a super nice area in addition to everything that we have in the house. And again, we said this home is 3147 square foot, listed at $363,000. Four bedroom, three and a half bath. 
So great home in Cantonment, Florida, 667 Pine Brook Circle in Cantonment, Florida. Thank you so much for watching this video.